What is up YouTube, it's Raphael here today and I'm going to be teaching you how to generate random numbers using Xcode and Swift. So let's get started. With Xcode open up, I am using version 9.2 for this tutorial, but the code here will work on Xcode 8 or, or below, at least down to Xcode 7. So let's click on create a new Xcode project. We want a single view application in under iOS and hit next. For the product name, we're going to be calling this random number tutorial. Now call yours whatever you decide to. For the, so just for this video, I'm going to be calling mine as random number tutorial. And make sure the programming language is set to Swift for this tutorial. Click next and save it wherever you wish. Um, random number already exists, so just replace that. The reason why that popped up is because I actually recorded this video earlier, but I, however, I found out that my video recorder did not record my voice, and so I have to redo the entire video again, which is great. But anyways, let's go on to the deployment info, and over here, under deployment target, we're going to set the number to iOS version 10.0. So this is saying that whatever device is running iOS 9 or under, are required to upgrade to at least iOS version 10. Now if you want you can make the cut back as iOS 9 or even iOS 8 if you wish but for this video I'm just going to be putting it as iOS 10 as the um, as the minimum requirement for your iOS version. Devices you can set to universal depending on what app you are you are, you are making it for. You can make it for iPad, for iPhone but if you want both of them, you can um, set it to universal. And the device orientation is going to be portrait for this tutorial. Again, don't fret on what I my my options for the device orientation because this whole random number generating um, stuff that I'm going to be showing you in this video will work on applications that are also on landscape or upside down. So don't have to, you don't have to copy exactly what I have here in this device orientation. So if your app is already like landscape, if you made a landscape app, you don't have to like change it to portrait if that's not what your app is designed for. Anyway, so we're done with, with this. So let's head over to our main storyboard and we're going to set up our UI. Let me get rid of that little um, left pane over here. We're going to drag in a label and a button. First label is going to be number label. This is the area, this is the label that will output a, no, a random number. So let me center the line of text and resize it to size 20. I'll drag in a button and this will be uh, pick a number. So this is the button that will be doing most of the work. So this is the one that will show, this is the button that will activate the label to show a random number. And then the lastly, this label here is going to be an if label, so if statement label, which in this video I'm also going to be showing you how to do an if statement. So the if statement will affect this label that I'm moving right now, which is the if statement label. So let me resize that. Okay, so what I mean by that is if this label changes a number, this label will also be affected as a result of, of the if statement that I'm going to be showing you like in a minute. But anyway, so that's how we want our design to look like for this um, tutorial. So when we click this button, this and this will both be affected. So this button will be the one doing most of the work. Now let's get into programming. So let's click on the very top of the main storyboard, which will highlight the entire thing blue bring up the assistant editor which is on the very um, top right corner this Olympic symbol thing and then we're gonna make a we're gonna make an IB action a function so drag drag this onto the assistant editor with control click or right click connection is gonna be action and the name is going to be a random number action type is any and event is going to be touch up inside. Make sure it is touch up inside or else the button will not work and it will result in the application going to crash. Make sure the arguments is sender and connect it. And you should see this whole um, this whole line here had popped up as a result. 
if it did not pop up, do it again because you might have done something wrong. So now anything, so anything here, let me highlight the lines here. Anything we type in the middle of these two brackets. So I'm trying to, let me see if you can see the yellow square that is popping up over here. Anything that we type in between those two are going to affect the button that we are going to program. But before we do anything with the button in the first place, let's declare I let's declare the two labels as well, so that Xcode knows that they both exist. So connection is outlet, type is UI label, and storage is strong. And the name of the label is going to be ran, random uh, number label. Uh, connect that again, and the if statement label next. So control click and drag, and this will be called if statement label again connection outlet UI label and storage is strong this time as well again connect and now we have declared these two um, labels so now Xcode knows that they exist within the program you can check if you did correctly by going over to these circles and you'll see it will, re it will respond by highlighting the label in our storyboard okay so since they're both um perfectly matched let's get right Let's disable our assistant editor and let's head over to our view controller that's Swift. Now, here we're gonna declare a um, variable. So do var, and this is gonna be random number equals, and then we're gonna do for the random number generator, it's gonna be arc for random underscore uniform, this very first option. And now, for this video, I'm going to be doing it. From 1 to 10 this number here is you can change it to 20 so it will say that the maximum amount of numbers generated will be 1 to 20 or if you want 1 to 50 but for this video since this is a tutorial I'm only I'm only going to be putting it from 1 to 10 just so there's not too many numbers for this and then what we want to show we want to show the the, um, the variable on our label so do random number label dot text equals and then for the string here so this is a string this whole um speech marks in between is a string so let's do backslash and then do random number close bracket and that is what you should get so and whatever the value of random number is it will show in the label so let me head over back to the storyboard to so that you'll be not less confused. So I'll bring up the assistant editor to show you to show you step by step. So this random number label the text, which is this label over here, as you see, when whatever value the random number is, it will show on the text as a result. And then now, so let's um click. Let's now build and run our application. We will code the if statement in a in a few moments, but for in the meantime, let's show how the app is going to function so far. And make sure that make sure your iOS simulator is iPhone 8 because we built for the iPhone 8 screen. So if you were to choose say iPhone 6 or iPhone 7 or iPad Pro, the app will look weird because we have not set the app const we haven't set the labels to have constraints so that it will resize automatically if we choose a different size screen. So make sure the size is set to iPhone 8 or whatever you use to whatever size your storyboard was when you made the application click play and this should bring up the iOS simulator in a few moments okay as you see here it says build succeeded and so this iOS simulator is almost a different iPhone screen that I used Just ignore that you should only get one of them so it can take a minute for it to load so okay here it is now when we pick a number it is gonna generate any number between 1 to 10 so as of right now the label is not this if statement label here is not being affected because we have not made any if statements yet so let's go ahead and fix that problem now it's not really a problem but if you want the if statement label to be affected as well, you can you can continue on with the video or you can end the video right now if this is all you want. But let's go. So 
we're going to make an if statement. So if random number equals equals zero, we can do ra not random if statement label. So this is the this is the if statement label as we linked over here. So go back to your view control controller that's Swift. If statement label the text equals equals and then this is going to be another string. And this is going to say you have zero. Um, you can get rid of that extra e equals there. And let's copy and paste it all the way to number 10. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So change each of the each of the numbers all the way up to 10. So 0 to 10 will be the, la the if statement label is going to output whatever number it is as well. So 8, 9, 10. Let me see, I think I got one too many. Let's get rid of that. Since we only have 10 as our maximum. So now add it in a string, add it to match whatever you, um, whatever the number is for your random number. So let's see, I have zero, you have six, you have seven, you have eight, you have nine, and then lastly you have 10. So let's see now what happens when we build and run our app. Now that we've got our if, la if statements, let's now see what the bottom label is going to do as a result. So that, now the if, if statement label did not react at all before, but now if you pick a number, you can see that the bottom label is reacting as a result of the if statement. And as a result of what we put in our string, it is being outputted in the third label. So yeah, this is the tutorial finished. So this is how you make a random number of generator using Swift and Xcode. Leave a like and comment if this video helped you out. And I'll see you guys in the next programming lesson. Peace out.